Neurostigmine, along with similar acting drugs Neostigmine and Edrophonium, are medications used to treat a neuromuscular disorder known as myasthenia gravis. In this mnemonic video, I'll help you remember the most important facts about pyridostigmine, neostigmine, and edrophonium so that you'll be ready for test day. Arrgh, shiver me timbers. Did that sound like a pirate to you? Truth is, I'm not actually a pirate, I'm just a DJ, but this is a pirate-themed party here in Mexico. By the way, the word pirate is our symbol for the drug pyridostigmine because pirate and pyridostigmine sound similar, right? You can even think of it as pirate-o-stigmine, if that helps. There are two more related drug names to know, so let's keep going. This party is lit. I mean, it's literally lit with these neon sticks all over. You can use these neon sticks to symbolize the drug neostigmine. You know, neon stick for neostigmine. Just one more drug name to cover. As a DJ, I always bring my headphones with me to my gigs. These headphones are our symbol for the drug edrophonium, since edrophonium sounds like headphones, right? Now that we're familiar with the three drug names, let's move on to learn when these drugs are used. Take a look around at the party setting. We're here in Mexico at some authentic Mayan graves. By the way, these Mayan graves are here to represent myasthenia gravis. Mayan graves for myasthenia gravis. Pretty straightforward if you ask me. Pyridostigmine, neostigmine, and edrophonium are all drugs used to treat myasthenia gravis. Myasthenia gravis is a neuromuscular disorder that causes muscle weakness and paralysis all throughout the body. The disease can become life-threatening when it affects the muscles of respiration, like the diaphragm. There is currently no cure for myasthenia gravis, but these drugs can help treat muscle weakness and prevent disease progression. How exactly do they work? Let's find out. The classic drink of choice is Mexican cola, and I'm raising my bottle of cola up high. If you want some, we have plenty more. Here at Pixarize, we use cola to symbolize the choline in acetylcholine. It's the acetyl cola, if you catch my drift. So my raising of cola and the presence of a lot of cola here should help you remember that these drugs increase acetylcholine levels. Pyridostigmine, neostigmine, and edrophonium all work by increasing acetylcholine levels in the neuromuscular junction. This acetylcholine is needed to drive muscle contraction, so an increase in acetylcholine helps treat the muscle weakness in myasthenia gravis. Just remember me raising a cola bottle to remember that these drugs raise acetylcholine levels, okay? As drugs that increase acetylcholine levels, these drugs can also cause a cholinergic overload, or cholinergic crisis, a side effect caused by too much acetylcholine. We have a whole scene dedicated to this cholinergic crisis, but in short, you can remember the symptoms as an overload of the rest and digest system. These symptoms include increased body secretions, diarrhea, urination, slowing of the heart, pupil constriction, and hypotension. So what do we do when we cause this cholinergic overload? Well, we give the reversal agent, or antidote of course. This party is getting a little out of hand. This man here in the tropical shirt has killed the party by crashing right into my soundboard. He's ruining the party. You can use this man's tropical shirt to symbolize the drug atropine, because we use the tropics as our recurring symbol for atropine. And since this guy is ruining the pirate party, that can remind you that atropine is the antidote to pyridostigmine, neostigmine, and edrophonium. Atropine is an anticholinergic drug, so it makes the acetylcholine levels go down. Just remember atropine as the reversal agent for these drugs. Alright, that's it for this mnemonic. Let's recap. Pyridostigmine, neostigmine, and edrophonium are medications that treat myasthenia gravis by raising acetylcholine levels. However, if acetylcholine levels get too high, patients will experience a cholinergic crisis, a syndrome caused by an overload of acetylcholine. This cholinergic overload can be reversed by administering atropine. And now we're actually done. Party's over. I'm out of here. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching. For more videos like this one, subscribe to our channel and check out our newest lessons. For more resources on this topic, including fact lists and interactive review images, click the image next to the More Here arrow. I'll see you next time.